You heard me? <laughs> Thank you, everyone, though, for being here. Please do. Ah, oh, it's so loud. Please stop it, mate. Um, please do tweet out the stream. Make sure to tweet me, uh, tag me if you want to tweet it out as well. I will retweet it. Um and uh and yeah pl thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it make sure also if you want to uh check me out a bit more uh to follow me on uh on on twitch as well i'm a full-time variety caster as well and a part-time shout caster as obviously you can tell so with saying that second last round of the night let's see how these teams doing uh, teams are doing sorry uh i mean you already saw you already saw those standings especially and we're uh coming in to where those those waiting moments are gonna happen you're gonna have a lot of just waiting uh i'm keen to see a better circle hopefully saki circle guys come on saki circle right that's what we all want that's what, what we've all wanted forever oh no is it just me maybe it's just me um and uh yeah all right let's start it in 12 seconds how about that we'll start in 12 seconds let's turn down these tunes i almost thought i was listening to the vod and uh and we're gonna be starting up on the, the games right now so here we go here we go i'm keen as a bean i don't even know if, how keen beans are anyway and the circle uh, sorry the plane will be coming up uh from the southwest so it's gonna be kind of the same uh plane as one of the recent ones uh, I believe this this didn't this happen recently I can't remember uh oh well we'll see I guess I guess we'll see Jack. um yeah it's gonna be it'll be kind of interesting to see how these uh these players do it and we can already see uh players have jumped out of the plane and we're gonna check out we already see two teams moving to military base and that's gonna be kind of interesting to see especially uh a early fight at military base maybe some going to comms tower maybe some going to um is it is it comms tower it's some, something else that uh air, air, air traffic controller tower i don't know some people say it's something else i don't know make up your own names for things you know it's that's just how it goes two teams also going to Bichinki. And we, we do see a lot of groups going in right now. Um, like groups as in t uh, more than one team. Ceterix dropping very far away from his team. And it looks like Hetra does have an M16. We are going to unmute the game volume though. As we do remember that, of course. What are you talking about, chat? I, I remembered. Come on. Ceterix is running away. Does Hetra see him? And he does a good first hit right there. He's watching on that bike and he's going to be moving in. Cedric's uh, playing it naughty right there. Going to that bike as they are trying the best. Cedric's going to be moving again. Extra. This is going to be kind of an interesting start to the game for Cedric's, especially if he can get out of there. But he's just going to be staying on that rock and then moving out again. Switching back to the M16. A good hit. Two hits from Hectra as Cedric is possibly just going to jump down for a swim. Circle is on to that military island again. Oh my god, military circles. Cedric's is possibly going to get uh, out of there into the water. There's Hectra. Still going to be watching. Trying to find him. Looks like he can see him. Shot still going out. Almost getting that headshot, but it looks like he won't be doing so. Big shots going in. Pachinki early on. You see, Zanksworth has taken down Detect. What's the defect? I can't really, I can't, couldn't tell. I'm sorry. We are going to check. Oh, it doesn't, does, it doesn't tell anymore. I'm sorry. Zesim is on the southeast. He's coming up as well. Hopefully there's no lag. Do we see? Shots go out. Is Doggy already taking shots? Yesim now moving up. Zanksworth's going down to Doggy. Yes, him does not have a frag grenade. He does have a flashbang equipped. More shots going out as Hectra takes down Ceterix. Doggy's footsteps have been heard from Yesim. Will he peek it? Ooh, he 
sees him. Doggy goes down to get some. Sixer also peeking around. Trying to find him. Doggy most likely will get taken down by Yesim here. And there we go. That execution will go down as Danksworth does get picked up. Sixer. Trying to watch. This is not the spot that they want to be in. IDK gets a knockdown as well at military base. IDK does have a mini 14 and an AKM. He's on. He's running in the air. What a madman. Crazy. No, he's just running on. The radar is just going to be waiting, seeing if he can see anyone. Moving back over towards Pachinki, we do see that Sixer gets knocked down. Ryshak going to be taking a couple shots, but it looks like they don't connect either. Ryshak having to make his way to the south. Vex did. Goes down. Ryshek. Ryshek. Almost taking down Danksworth. But the left hand side. Yesem. Danksworth goes down. But Yesem takes down Ryshek. That was a nice start to that game with 50 people already uh, in the game. Sorry, 50 people remaining. Six people already dead. And we're waiting to see how these teams move in again. This, this circles, man. These circles. So weird. IDK taking shots at that team moving with that. Way Z to the east. And it looks like they don't manage to get any connecting kills. Or shots, even. Ooh. IDK has been hit, though. From Turtle. Turtle is just going to be chilling out. Trying to loot up right there. So you don't really see much else going on right now. Still waiting. For the not top right of that circle. We can see JV is going to be moving in very close to Elysium. Just watching right now. Just it's 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 because what happens right is that like it, it starts off super actiony. If if I mean if it starts off super actiony, um, you're gonna have kind of that lull of going. I want more action. Give me more action. So it's actually kind of sometimes better when there's not much action starting off, um, compared to that. But it looks like Frosty will possibly see them. I mean, glass smash has been heard possibly from these guys. Maybe a bit too far away. Only Chan is going to be swimming to this boat and not wanting to take the bridge. Probably for a good reason, as you do see Pooge uh, and Matt just waiting at the bridge, waiting for anyone, any poor sucker, to come by and light him up. Kind of this is the second last game as well. This is insane. And I am pretty hungry. <laughs> it's so annoying. Still checking out. Here we go. Valiot and Full Chaos AU. Gonna be coming up here. Frosty Wolf. Kind of waiting at them. It looks like they're gonna be moving up to their teammates. Now we're gonna see exactly if this plan is gonna work. And it looks like 
they will be able to be set, uh, set this up pretty easy. It looks like no. Instead, they're going to be going to the ocean. Plus, we're trying to find a boat to go. I'm not too sure. Good choice there, because they could have just gotten taken down by this team. Uh, for a second there, I thought those were different players. They're different teammates. Circle is moving in now, though. Check out all these boys just running it, having some fun. Right now, we could just chill out, guys. We could just chill out, take a couple drinks, you know, just chill out with the boys. Do you just check, see, I do you just see how uh, Hector and Timmy are going to be moving along that um, road to the south of military base? That good spread right here, but it's massive. That spread is incredibly massive. And this might be... What the hell is going on here? Boys, what are you doing? Oh my god, so close! Here we go. People coming in from the northeast of the circle. And we do see a lot of them come in from the uh the water. Having a little giggle, I Stabby. Stop giggling, but serious right now. Being serious right now, chat. Oh, Blood Raptor. Turning around as Cletus is very close to Elysium here. Shots will be going out towards him. He is going to take a little bit of a turn straight towards him. The Cletus getting hit and taken down by Matt with a GP, a DP 28. Never mind. That's insane, dude. What? Are you kidding me? DP 28. I think that's the first DP28 kill we've seen tonight, at least. Cletus drowning finally. And we'll see those teams finally getting into that circle. Ooh, shot was heard for Elysium. Not too sure who's taking shots at him, though. Some teammates taking their respective compounds right here. Side so decay all the way away from his teammates on the west. No idea why he is over there. Just possibly just trying to find some loot. Having some fun. That's what we're all, we're all here, man. Having some bloody fun. Love it. Uh, here we go. New circle is up to the southwest of the original circle. Uh, Favouring uh, the south of military base and that compound. Now, there's not many compounds out here. So, uh, Ludo, Danksworth, even... Uh, need to find their way over to this compound, the biggest compound they can. Uh, all, I mean, the small ones here uh, and this. I mean, it, it's just going to be kind of interesting, especially. Uh, I haven't seen this circle in a long time. Usually when I see the circle, it usually ends here. Uh, maybe even here now because of that middle ground of the circle. We're going to possibly see some nice uh, action up on the northwest end side, we can see Matt has taken down Mach 1 with another G uh, DP28 kill. Pooge getting lit up from Blood Raptor as he does get damaged by that circle. I'm sorry I didn't see these guys before. I apologize. And we can see Tony just underneath the bridge as Matt is on the top. He's watching out for those boys who most likely hear the footsteps underneath. Blood Raptor has been seen by Matt. Oh, he almost got the hit too. 20, sorry, 20. Two minutes remaining. As Blood Raptor goes down to Elysium. Tony underneath now. 
Looks like they're going to possibly go for the boat. It would be a smart idea, especially since they are rotating. And there we go. They go for the boat as Matt. No idea. They're on the other side of that bridge. Jump in, boys. Let's get out of here. Blood Raptor finally taken down by Elysium. And there we go. They're in the boat. They're going to get out of there. Using the underneath of the bridge. Matt hearing them in that boat, trying to watch out for him. As you can see, Pooch and teammates finally taking shots. Elysium takes down Josh. And there it is. Josh taken finally fully down as Tony deciding to swim instead. I thought Tony actually got taken down, but it looks like he didn't. Look at those teams moving in there. As we see Pookie and teammates on the new crate. Big shots going out through that fence, but they don't actually connect at all. Still nobody at that compound either. As Pookie is going to take some shots towards that UOZ to the southeast. Big hit from Pookie as he switches to the M416. Now taking big hits as well to them. Can they blow up that vehicle? There he goes. He does get a nice knockdown on Skungy Dory. Switching back to the Car 98. Trying to sit down to see if he can see him. Skungy Dory most likely going to get picked up. Lots of people super close to each other up on this east side. Moving back over here, we can see Power AU goes down. Skungy Dory goes down to Oni Chan. Up on that north side, Pooge is still going to take shots at Tony, but he does not connect. Don't see anyone else over on the outside either. As IDK using the MK14 that he got from that crate, trying to take the shots super far away. As we do see these boy, uh, all these players rotating to the east side. They are in the circle, but they want to get in some good cover. Look at the a variety of weapons they have down at the south end as well. You see an org, especially deadly. The syrup in a vehicle has been heard. Oye switching. Taking some shots towards him as Beagle is going to probably do the same. There we go. Shots going out. But here we go. Doing that would have shown off that I Love Spaghetti will be able to take them out right here. And no, he's right there. Beagle trying to jump around the right-hand side. They haven't noticed that I Love Spaghetti sees him. Beagle out in the open as a spray goes down from I Love Spaghetti. Beagle gets hit pretty hard, but Spaghetti goes down first. Jesus now coming up. He almost gets taken down, but only Chan to the left-hand side. Beagle is down as JV takes some good hits towards him. Jesus trying his best to heal up as fast as he can as only Chan has come around the back-end side before taking shots. Double JG has taken some shots already. As only Chan is moving up from the west-hand side. Another vehicle coming by in a big... Double kill from Twitch Double JG. I love Spaghetti and Jesus both down. Jesus getting knocked and I love Spaghetti taking a nice execution. Only Chan going for that second execution and continues with it. Bouncy Butt still alive as Double JG also going to be flanking around. Looks like he's just going to be moving away from his teammates as Bouncy Butts also does the same. Good work from them. But we do go over here. We can see these boys are going to be watching towards the southwest as well. See, Reedy trying to peek out with that uh, with that mini fourteen. Sorry. New circle will be showing itself right now, and there it is, just to the west side, favoring that compound again. Insane stuff. The Malia and two teammates in a vehicle just getting into the circle. But there we go. We can see Oni Chan does get a knock. Uh, Syrup goes down as well by jumping out of his vehicle too soon. Oni Chan takes down Kitty. Kitty finally finished down by OJ. Malia getting hit. Has to not. What is he doing? Going left and right. Staying outside of that circle. Still, he's going to get damaged pretty hard. Trying to... Oh, they're not going to be able to pick up Full Chaos. 
vehicle is going to get blown up as well as we go down to the south east extra is going to take some shots awesome gloves as well spiky gloves for a spiky badass dude and we are going to be seeing Hector take shots towards Ray. Ray, though, doesn't get hit until his friend, or Hector's friend, takes some shots at him. Hector jumping down. It is mind game. Hector with a frag grenade. Underarm frag has been thrown. Ray has been hit. Hector jumping down. He's seen. Ray goes down due to the low health. And that is a nice knock and execution for Hector. Watching the map again, we can still see Syrup goes down to Hector. Double JG running out in the open. As we go to Bousy's position with that Star L taking shots now towards Hayden. Turtle also super low. Hayden with the memes. It looks like CD Reedy is out of the water as Hector is now pinned. In this position, CD Reedy has to watch out for Mind Game, though. Just above with Rive 9K just to the right-hand side. Rive has been knocked down by Mind Game as CD Reedy jumps back into the water. CD Reedy hasn't been seen by Mind Game yet. That water is too dark. So we are going to be hearing out so many shots going out from Bousy. Bousy taking shots at JB. Double JG, sadly not going to make it. He's going to go down to anyone right there out in the middle. Cryptic also taking some shots here towards those vehicles. Bink takes down Double JG finally. Mind game finally executes. Right. Beagle with a sick spin. Cryptic gets taken down by Yasu Cage. Danksworth trying his best to take him down. Yasu Cage doing work with his M416, switching back to an AKM. Watching to the north side as Oni Chan. Biggie J very close is also going to be watching. More shots going out from everyone. Moving over towards I Decay with that MK14. Taking shots at anyone that he can see. JV has been seen. And big shots going out from I Decay. He does hit him pretty hard to half health. As Oni Chan has also been seen slightly. Mighty K. Mighty K trying their best, but hits the rock instead. Only Chan out in the open. I suck at this gun. I don't know about you guys, but I suck at this gun. Okay, trying the best as Bink takes down Malliot. New circle will be coming up here. As Mind Game still alive, we'll see a lot of those boys in the boat. He does take some shots, but Gigi takes him down first. So close. Mind Game could have got a nice triple kill there. New circle up on the south, sorry, the west side. And shots going out from Strider and teammates. Bink jumping out of the window going towards that car we can see only chan and oh yay taking shots with jv one minute 27 left is only chan uh sorry oh yay no it is only chan moving by the uh the, the the road i can't even speak anymore Only Chan trying to come up as IDK finally gets that knockdown. Up on the north side, Pookie sees him and takes down Oye. Oh, Pookie goes down as well as IDK gets shot. Biggie J. Still hearing shots coming out from everyone here. As Ludo trying to find Only Chan behind that tree. JV goes down to Gad.
to watch. And as IDK does take a couple shots, he does get hit though. Yes, him. Watching those lads. Bouncy butts knocks himself down or kills himself even. Brow jumping out of the vehicle, out of the boat as Fuzzly is so close to death. Fuzzly jumps out as well, but on the wrong side. More shots going up from Yesim as he just has free reign. Turtle goes down as the rest jump out. Turtle! Oh no! Turtle feels bad, man! We'll be going all the way down to the depths of the ocean because that's how the how real life works. Yesim is going to take some shots again as Valsi now coming out with that bike. Just going to be chilling out very close to this other team to the north west. Valsi has seen Pookie. Pookie only getting hit slightly there we go pookie down pookie is not dead though as decay to this left hand side valsi what the hell is going on there i decay with the bot aim as valsi moves back to the bike will they actually decide to jump back on it looks like he will will he try to get out of there as i decay tries to come over the crest of the hill takes a couple shots with the mk14 and takes him down! Valsi, you do not get out of there! And Dinah K finishes him off. That was beautiful as Yesim is finally continually taking shots at Prowl. Prowl still not down though. As Dinah K takes down Easy Peasy as well. Yesim takes down Prowl. Vegetable is next. More shots are heard from Danksworths towards Dinah K. Ludo also taking shots as Yesim goes down to Ludo. Look at all these players down here as Hayden with a grenade just throwing him as much as he can. Hayden goes down the Vegetable Slayer above him. Vegetable Slayer taking some shots at his teammate, not realizing that he just jumped up. Buzzly also alive just underneath Cryptic and Danksworths. Biggie J taking shots and Gad goes down. Juice with the Con 98 could help out his team here. So many people so close to each other. Is Danksworth still taking shots at Juice? Juice gets hit once and he will be lying down. This is what I love to see is 10 seconds remaining. Three, no, four teams left and 13 players re uh, remain. Danksworths with an underarm frag grenade. Does not connect with them, but it was very close. Fuzzly may be able to take down Danksworths here. Danksworths sees Pookie and Juice. Juice takes down Danksworths. As Cryptic coming up now, takes a good hit on Juice, switching to the Orb. Takes a shot and IDK takes him down first. Buzzly and Vegetable Slayer now moving away as IDK moves up. He sees Yesim first. Cryptic also down in that ditch. Cryptic goes down and IDK moves down. Buzzly takes down IDK. Vegetable coming up as well as suppressive shots from Gad. Takes down Fuzz. Cryptic's also executed as Fuzz almost executed as well nine players left as gad all the way out in the open has to be mo making a move right here shooting at the person he just killed he sees vegetable jump up gad dies taking too many hits as yasu cage comes in from behind that team moving back towards the east side cryptic and yesim just wait behind the staffelade vegetable might be able to pick up fuzzly here it might be actually possible and it looks like they're going to do so. Yasu Cage coming in with a play using the buggy. Yes, it may hear it. He won't be taking a shot just yet. Yasu Cage coming in from the long shot. You, Ludo with the Kane 8 equipped. He might see Fuzzly and he does. Fuzzly has been seen, but he doesn't hit the shot. Big J now. 
watching as Yasin does throw a smoke. BKJ sees Yasin behind the tree. We'll call that out to his teammates. You can see Yasu Cage coming in right from behind as he does lie down. Yasin will most likely see him peeking from that tree. He's just going to use Yasin's smoke to move up to that tree. Now in a great position, Vegetable Slayer will be taking shots at Biggie. Yasu Cage could have a frag and he doesn't. The frag could take a double kill here, but he doesn't have any. And he's just going to have to wait. Seven seconds. Sorry, seven people remaining as the circle does move in. Cryptic now using the smoke to push. He has been seen. Cryptic. Yasu Cage leaving it on. Single shot. Ta gets taken down by Yesum. Yesum. Oh my god. Ludo takes down Vegetable. Ludo coming in. As he sees, Ludo goes, uh, takes down Cryptic. Oh my god. I'm sorry. The, the blah, blah. That was insane. Ludo flanking here. He could take them down. And there it is. Ludo with a flank on the east. Takes down Yesum. And will be winning it for his team. GG for that, that third, wait, fourth game of the night. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back with the fifth game very shortly. Thanks guys.